Welcome, I'm Paul, this is Dave. You're watching a Gravity Falls reaction to Season 1, Episode 20, the last episode of the season. Now, this is gonna get very interesting. Last episode, we finally met Bill, who is apparently a demon. So we think. Who is he really is the question. Is he a demon? Is he just like a Joker character with no real motives or just playful? Hmm. Or is he like a fourth wall creation, the writers wrote themselves into the show as sometimes they do, like in Supernatural and stuff. Perhaps even more importantly though, we're getting to the point where the apocalypse is nigh. And more pressing, Gideon stole the mystery shack. What the hell? We have to recover that, and I'm sure we will in this episode. Alright, let's get to it. It's an ominous shadow. Oh. Are they in a hotel or something? I just had a horrible dream that Gideon stole the deed to the mystery shack and kicked us out and... It's not a dream. Sister's grandma. <laughs> no dream. Oh my god, no, they're in the same bed. That's terrifying. Their skin is old lady soft. Ah, yeah. Mabel. She even has the old, ma old lady smell. Child psychic Gideon Gleeful has taken surprise ownership of the mystery. More like child psychopath. That picture's taken out of context. <laughs> and now that you have it wasn't Halloween though, or some Halloween. For your mission, everyone wears their Gideon pants. It's my face. Don't worry, Dipper. Looks like Mabel's gonna have to be the hero of the family now. I'll just be Gideon with my grappling hook. Yes. Yes. Grappling hook has literally never helped us once. Right. Oh, yeah. But yeah. because she didn't use it. Exactly. Just shoot him in the face. There you go. <laughs> I don't think you can vacuum jelly. <laughs> Why is your shirt off? <laughs> You're just in your underwear, Seuss. This is inappropriate. I'm just kidding. I'm totally eating it. We gotta get the shack back. Damn right you do. It's like the Ocean's Eleven stealing the deed back. <laughs> you just hold the deed in your hand and it grants magical ownership over the property. Nothing else you need. <laughs> So much frickin' Ben hair on me. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like grand closing. Gideon is the psychic guest. He guessed the secret ingredient to my coffee omelet. Somehow he knew about my horrifying secret birthmark. I love the mm -hmm. child psychic so much. <laughs> okay, calm down. Is that you? Wendy's father is extreme. <laughs> outfits. I can't. Yeah. Well taped. I mean, there's a roller coaster, so it's not the worst idea, but why does it have to be on the Mystery Shack property? Just build it somewhere else. Just beat him up. You, uh, grappling hook time again. They're not going to. <laughs> Mr. Pines, I recall you gave the property to me. Look, here's a deed right here. Well, that's all the proof I need to see. Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Freaking barbed wired fence. Don't My worry, God. We'll get the shack back somehow. We uh, there you go, Wendy. Well, we need you here. Yeah, especially Dipper because of his giant crush on. Yeah. Come on, continue the sentence. The you <laughs> exactly. I mean, Wendy knows. It's no mystery. <laughs> oh man, guys, don't look now. Take me back, Wendy. <laughs> Robbie. Holding this boombox forever. Yeah, that's true. Have you been getting my texts? Do I need to send you more texts? Wendy? No, you don't, Robbie. <laughs> Give her space. But it's over. And what's Stan gonna tell mom and dad? Ah, uh, Mr. Pines will figure something out. Stan has money. Just go rent a hotel. You're you're okay, Stan. Put him up in this amazing four-star hotel. Wow. <laughs> Free dinner. Sure, we got milk. Plenty to eat. Uncle Stan, can we order pizza? Come on. Wait. Did Gideon steal all of Stan's money too? It was it wasn't in the safe, right? Where does he keep it? I mean, do they even have bank accounts? I'm kind of confused by the technology levels. Oh no, he has waddles too. Father, have I ever told you the true nature of this book? You 
written many years ago by a brilliant unknown author who learned secrets too powerful for one man. He hid his journals where he thought no one would ever find them because he knew that if the journals were ever brought together, they would unleash a gateway to unimaginable power. Where's number one? Ah, okay. Is it in Stan's basement area? I think Stan has the book. I would explain a few things. Maybe that's all it is. Stan has a book, so he has some knowledge. I think there's more to it. We'll find out, hopefully. Look, I've been thinking and I can't take care of you anymore. I don't have a house or, or a job. The plan is you're going home. Your bus leaves tomorrow. Here you no. Go. Uncle Stan, you can't give up. Yeah, dude. Look at these faces. Be careful, yep. Mabel. Your summer depends on it. <laughs> Look, I lost, okay? Summer's over. Mr. Pines, come back. Stan will come too. Or the kids are gonna get it back for him. Then we'll have to do it ourselves. Gideon may have the yep. other hand, but we have one thing he doesn't. Grappling hook. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> the journal is pro probably more uh more powerful, but <laughs> we haven't seen the grappling hook in action yet. The thug's just patrolling. <laughs> now will you admit the grappling hook is useless? No, nah, it's a skill issue. I've stared at this page for hours. It seems like a blueprint to build some kind of strange futuristic super weapon. Boring! To defeat those guards, we need some kind of army. I'm with Dipper though, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Mabel, that's it! The gnomes! Right, yeah. The barfing rainbow gnomes. <laughs> this is their hiding spot. I wonder what gnomes do out here all alone in the forest. Ah! Ah! This, this is normal. This is normal for gnome. Scrub, scrub. Probably not. <laughs> He's just a weird gnome. Seriously, ew. Yeah. You our help after you a few levels of ew. Altar, no dice. Well, what if we were able to get you a new queen? One even more beautiful than me. Her name's Gideon, and she has lovely white hair. Whoa, mature woman, huh? Hey, Shmebulok, get Oh out. my god. Shmebulok. Shmebulok, all you can say? Shmebulok. It's like Groot. I am Groot. I am Shmebulok. <laughs> Waiter, give me a glass of the strongest, most expired apple cider you've got. Sure thing, Mr. Pines. Zoo, I got a what are you job. Sense of hmm. mystery. Grave digger, bus driver, really awesome cook. Hey, is the kitchen supposed to have that much fire in it? Nope. I fear for the people who all, who ride the bus. <laughs> the entire lower half of your body is on fire. Shh. We're having a moment. Sue says no pain receptors. <laughs> Give us the deed to the shack, Gideon, or else. Am I supposed to say or else what? You're yes. <laughs> the gnome arrows, right? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Damn, okay. They recruited quite the army. He needs a bride. What can you say? The tables have turned. Yes, I am impressed by your creativity. How did you oh no. Oh, no. Could it be? Is it? It's number three. <laughs> of course. No muscles, no brains. Face it. You're nothing without this. No brains. He's a genius. Although it's not kind of, it's not looking that way right now. <laughs> Next time, do your own dirty work. Come on, boys. That is weird. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> the only courageous or cool things I've ever done have been because of that journal. Without it, I can't help you or Stan or anyone. Plus 52, departing gravity. No. Something's going to happen, obviously. They they don't. Well, maybe they'll leave and come back? Sorry, kids. Oh, Seuss really. Uh, Stan looks really sad. Yeah. And Wendy, too. Well, at least they didn't fully destroy the Mystery Shack yet. Just the top part. At last, I have journal number three. There are three of them. But where's journal number one? I can't let him leave Gravity Falls. 
too late. Is it a spaceship or something? <laughs> of course it's McGuggan. <laughs> Perfect carve out even for his heir. Some Pacific Rim action going on. Although he doesn't need a partner, so that's an advantage. Oh. I go vacuum my face. <laughs> Maybe that'll work. Floor it. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> Zeus, right? Of course, he's a bus driver. I've been a part-time bus driver for at least forty minutes. Yeah. All these things are probably a clutch. I thought they were going to go speed action. The speed movie where they jump the bridge. <laughs> okay, what's closest to our present situation? Raccoon in the engine or angry grandparent won't leave bus? Probably, probably the second one. I don't think it quite covers it. How'd that support? The bridge is sturdy. Wow. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wow, he's actually bloody now. Gideon is going too far. What is he going to do? Collapse the bridge, but then Mabel's in trouble? She has a grappling hook. Collapse the bridge, Mabel, grapple hook. <laughs> grappling hook's away. Oh, okay. His suit is still connected to the... Mag, Mag, what is it called? The... Jager? Jager, I think it is. Grabbing his fist. <laughs> punch yourself. Stop punching yourself. <laughs> no, Jaeger. You don't pronounce a J. Right. Oh, okay. I thought the bridge was going to collapse. It's not exactly what I thought. Now is the grappling hook time, though. Nothing else could do it, right? Okay. <laughs> Nothing like a little nuclear explosion. Surely they grappled away. Yeah, like a spider web. <laughs> there you go, Mabel. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That was pretty amazing. Come on, Stan. I've got something to say. Not this guy again. Just wait. Look. You guys all think Gideon is so perfect and honest. Oh, I could never tell a lie. I'm Gideon. Yeah, he has an earpiece, right? Right. Take a good look. Oh, okay. Wait a this is the observation is deck. The huh. secret ingredient to my coffee omelet is coffee. That's right. These pins are hidden cameras. Ah, uh, okay. Aid was picking up the feedback. What are you going to do with me? Tyler? Get him. <laughs> Little Gideon, you are under arrest for conspiracy, fraud, and breaking our hearts. Mm. Darling, the tiny handcuffs. Yeah, the last one is the most important. He has the tiniest handcuffs. <laughs> They're like from the dollar store. Poor thing. <laughs> the deed, yeah, there you go. This belongs to me. No, no, watch the hair. You can't do this to me. Y'all are sheep. You need me. <laughs> Nothing but sheeple. <laughs> Local hero Stanford Pines has just exposed little Gideon. I like Mabel's on her on Stan's shoulder. <laughs> Waddles. <laughs> but wait, are we gonna know what's in the basement? I maybe not. <laughs> is Gideon gonna break out of jail next season? This is a journal I found in the woods. It talks about all the crazy stuff that goes on in Gravity Falls. Gideon nearly destroyed the whole town trying to find it. I don't know what it means or who wrote it, but after all we've been through, maybe you should finally know about it. I'm glad you showed me this, Tipper. Stan has number one. This kooky book has been filling your head with crazy oh, okay. conspiracies. No, it's all, real. it's all real. You gotta quit reading this fantasy nonsense for your own good. Mind if I borrow this? Wait, no! Google Stan! Magic book. <laughs> Ridiculous. Stan, I need it! He has number one. 
nothing but your bare hands. It's you're true. Zero whether you've got that journal or not. Whoa. Dan went with that book anyway. Come on, basement. <laughs> Come on. Let's see it. <laughs> Let's see it. Yes. I love the music. <laughs> Come on, show us. There we go. Elevator? What kind of code was that? Okay. <laughs> Does he have a nuclear reactor down here powering everything? This is like ancient technology though. Yeah, number one. Of course he had number one. He's got them all, so... What does it do? <laughs> oh man, I'm on the edge of my seat. Is this some alien artifact? Here we go. No, don't end there, you bastard. <laughs> Found near the crystals. The symbols when he inputted the code to go in the basement look like some alien cryptography or something. Certainly not numbers. Trust no one. So yeah, obviously, trust no one, don't trust Stan. But I kind of do trust Stan. I'm not supposed to trust him, I guess. So I guess that is part of it, right? They say, trust no one at the very end. So you're supposed to not trust Stan now. But is that a trick? Because I do still trust Stan. Am I just naive? Is he the main villain? Eh, uh, I wouldn't go that far. But certainly he knows something, uh, a lot more than what he's letting on, uh, to Dipper and Mabel, pretending that it's just some fantasy book. But no, he knew all along, and he had number one, which completed this weird picture in the book, and that unlocked some code that he inputted into this machine. And the basement area, it looked like the Terminator 3 movie, towards the end, where they were sent to, uh, a command center, but it wasn't really a command center or like the server room for Skynet, no. It was just some old bunker with computers from the 1960s or something, or 70s. That's what it looked like. Stan had this weird basement that is filled to the brim with ancient technology. But I guess it's more robust? Unhackable? But then he inputted this code. What does that code mean? It looked like some sort of triangle aircraft. Is it alien? And then how does Bill fit in? Is Bill not a demon, but an alien? I mean, I love aliens, so if it's alien theory, let's go. <laughs> and I'm going back to that one time episode where it showed Stan in the shack. Though It wasn't a mystery shack yet. It was just a shack. It was in the winter. He was looking around like suspicious as someone watching. So this goes way back. Did he find the book and wanted to solve the mystery so bad that he built up this shack? to stay in the area, to try to find the other books. But all this technology, it seems like, it does seem like he's being recruited by some agency. Maybe he is working for the government. Maybe Stan is part of the CIA, for all I know. <laughs> that would be a good twist. Or maybe he's a freaking alien, for all I know. Maybe that's the twist. <laughs> Stan is an alien. That would kind of make sense, actually. <laughs> but yeah, we didn't get the apocalypse yet. So maybe that doesn't come. Maybe next season is just a normal-ish season. Normal-ish, but uh, relative to the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah, just uh, before I leave, Mabel coming in clutch with the grappling hook. Epic. I hope she gets some more saves in the future. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you next week, Sunday, 6 p.m. EST. Take care.